like so many healthcare workers on the front lines. A local nurse kept coming to work in the middle of this pandemic. They're all heroes, but this nurse could not have given any more of herself for this mission. Our Regina Waldrop has her story. On the front lines. Hello guys, and um, welcome to my channel. This is Angela Miller. And sharing her compelling story. I just want to uh, share with you my experience um, this past few days regarding um, coronavirus. Nurse Anjanette Miller posted a first person account of the coronavirus March 17th. Working at two different medical facilities, she talked about feeling sick. I was having body aches and that respiratory symptoms. I did call off from work. She says she got tested for the virus. The results? Negative. Swab me, they tested me for COVID-19. Days later, her symptoms came back with a vengeance. In this April 2nd post on Facebook, she writes healthcare workers aren't immune to the virus. Shivering, temperature rising. We all have to go, I guess. Just a matter of time. My fellow nurses, frontliners, take precaution. This week, Aunt Jeanette died from the virus. It's very sudden and all of us are really, really sad about the, the bad news. Grant Donasco lives in the Philippines. She's Aunt Jeanette's first cousin. She is really compassionate and She's very, you know, all her life, she worked as a nurse. Grant says Anjanette was like her sister and the reason why she also became a nurse. She's my hero, really. She changed my life. Um, and for that, we are grateful for her. Anjanette was planning to return to the Philippines in September to celebrate her father's 80th birthday. The plan now is to have her remain shipped there as soon as possible. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Such a heartbreaking story. Our thanks to Regina. Today, some much-needed help arrived for residents.